So this is Layer Path. This is a new tool I've just got. I've just been having a little play around with it. And so I'm excited to see what this can do. You can see I'm on uh, tier three. I'll include an affiliate link down below. And uh, the top tier gets you everything. So you get the um, highest number of credits. You can do playlists, of, you can do advanced branching, you can do video editing, you've got workspace access, and you get a custom domain. So this is a platform for making software demonstrations. So you would likely have your own company domain. So it might be demo.clicksony.com. I'm just going to leave that blank for now. And let me just get into this and show you how it works. So there's a little extension that you install, a Chrome extension. So we just head over to a piece of software. You won't see the Chrome extension because it's just off my recording screen. But if I click it, oh, there we go. You can see the pop up. So we can start recording and then I'm going to press control and E to stop recording. Okay. And we're off. So here's a piece of software and it's going to record things that I click on. So we'll just click on projects. Let's create a new project. And uh, select a few little bits. Let's give this a project price. Say create. And now let's just add a task. Okay, so that's just a, a very basic recording. So now I've stopped recording. It's just a very basic few clicks. It's capturing all the images and videos. This can take a minute. Let's see what it comes out with. Here we go. So the reason I wanted to get this, I've, I've got access to a couple of other tools like this, but what I like the look of was that it's not just about the interactive tour, but you also get a guide and a video. So you're getting three pieces of content you could use. Let's just have a quick look at the tour. So it's added on these little animated dots, click create new project button, that's good. Now this is interesting, so it's actually put in a little video of me typing. In other tools I've used, you would have to click here and it would say type whatever I was I typed. So that's a, that's a nice little point of difference. In fact, it's done it here, enter the value, click here. Oh, there we go. And now it's switched back to animation. Okay, click create button. Click here. So some of these are going to need to be adjusted because click here, I'd rather say, you know, click here to add a new task, for example. And then it's doing the animation of me typing again. That's pretty cool. Enter the value. Enter the value. It's not captured the little calendars coming up. That's interesting. Test created. And then that should be it, I think. Did I do anything else? Oh, this is, this is me trying to actually stop the recording. There we go. Yes, it's done. Okay, so that's the tour. That was pretty cool. Some adjustments needed, but okay. Now let's have a little look at the guide. So this is interesting. We've got this nice interface down the side where we've got the steps. So project, zooming out, zooming in. Okay, step two. Okay, so it's put little animated boxes around it. That's cool. Then it's again, it's put the animation of me typing. Click here, click here, choose, choose. So again, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So I can see this being useful where you don't want it to be interactive, but you want it to be a step-by-step -step process. Okay, and then the final piece of content is the video. Let's hit play. So this is a re the recording. It's actually made a recording of what I did. Now I've, <laughs> I like the zooming in and zooming out, but I've seen other people mention this in the reviews. It, it's kind of quite aggressive. It's sort of in and out very, look at that. It's just in and out like a bungee jumper. Uh, I, hopefully there's some controls on that because that's a little bit too whoa, for me. I, if I was wanting things to zoom in and out, I'd probably want a little bit of control over it. So the first two are looking pretty good. The video, um, well, let's see what the options are. So let's go back to the tour, first of all. So this is the welcome screen. So if we click here, we can get started with an interactive demo. So we could change that to whatever we wanted. We can change the size 
and uh, we can change the subheading, launch tour, and we can add a button. Well, I won't add a button at this stage because you want them to go through it. And then we can click through, so navigate to projects, that's fine. Click create new project button, that's good. Uh, this was the video, so it's just shown the recording. Click here. Right, so this was one I think I said I'd, I'd want to change, which would be, uh, let's say, click to choose type of project. Super easy to adjust this. And the other options you've got, you can change the colors. Well, I quite like those colors. Or you can change what style it is. So this is the pulsing dot, whereas this is, um, which we saw on the other one, you go like that. It kind of it focuses in on that particular area. Open by default, and you can change the tooltip position as well. That's handy, actually. I've, I've used this before because in one instance on, on when I was playing around with, this was covering the area that I wanted to show. And then destination, you can go to next slides, replay, that's good. Most of the time it's going to be next slide. So we go through and you can change this. Now, here's the other element I like. This uh, is showing it in real time, but we can speed that up, let's say, two times. You don't really want people sat around while you're typing things. I'd need to do that up here. Well, here it is. So let's change that to two times as well. Now, if I end up using one of these, I'll, I will put it on a website. And as well as the affiliate link to the deal, I'll put a link to where I've used it. So you can go check this out for real. So that's, that's pretty standard stuff. This is very similar to other tools I've used. I'm liking that. That's all good. Let's go to the guide now. And what can we do here? Can we edit the guide? Create a new project. Can add a step. What's this? Delete. It's the image. You can crop, redact, annotate. So what, what it hasn't done, updating the tour hasn't updated the guide. So that's project type. So we can adjust all the headings that go down the side. That's good. So again, this, you see how simple this is. I mean, I'm just recording this real time. I'm not sure how long I've been recording for. It's only a few minutes and I've already uh, started a Google tour and a guide. Now let's just hop over to the video. What can we do on the video then? So we've got the text. So this looks pretty poor. So you do want to change the... Um... So layout wise, we've got are these, the backgrounds are these. Yeah. So you can change the background, so you can just have a, a solid color. We've got some audio. Yeah, okay, we use the, the tech one, that sounds good. We've got learn more, woo. So something's, oh, okay. So it's trying to give us the path that it's recorded from, but that's maybe not where you, right, so learn more. That looks better, doesn't it? Right, there we go, that was, that was simple. So you're gonna to have to do a little bit of tweaking on the video. AI, add a voiceover. So if we say add. Don't miss out on this lifetime deal for the Clicksony project management tool. A short brief about your project doesn't mean it's gonna generate explanations as to why a project management tool is better. It means it's just gonna generate whatever you type in here. So if I wanted to add a, a voiceover here, then that's going to take quite a long time and we're going to have to it's probably be quicker for me to just do the voiceover myself. But I guess if you don't like doing voiceovers, this is a great option. You can add a voiceover and it's very clear as well. The voices they've got are really good. So let's have a little look on this. What have we got? We've got adjust. We can adjust the tilt, remove the tilt. That's better. See, I don't always like the tilt. I think the tilt, I mean, I suppose it's supposed to look a bit cool, but it, it distorts what's going on. I wonder if we can remove them all or turn them off. I'll have to look into that separately. But there you go. You can see very quickly I'm building up a video, a guide, and a tour. And now if we go back to the tour, it's got an Enhance with AI button. This is interesting. So that Enhance with AI has actually made all these prompts uh, a lot better. So they're a lot better now. It's added a lot more detail. So I should have done that first. We're all learning here. Again, you can add an AI voiceover, but I suspect that's, um, that's going to take a bit more time than I want to spend at the moment. So let's have a quick look at the design. If 
creating a new project using a proper management tool. Okay, We've got the layouts. So this is really good. You can get this looking quite different in different situations. So you wouldn't have to have them all looking the same. We've got the voiceover elements, voiceover text. You could generate these with the AI and then copy them into the voiceover section. That, that seems to work really well. If you want to use a voiceover on each particular part, that's good. Image editor. So this allows us to, this allows us to rotate and redact. So this redacting is super useful. If you've got a system where you're showing email addresses or maybe bank details, obviously you don't want those to be available to the world. You can just draw over a redaction. This is just a very quick demo. I'm exploring this as I'm showing you, but I've had very little experience with this software and I'm very pleased with the results already. If you wanna learn more about this deal that's currently on, go click the affiliate link below. And I'm gonna continue playing with this. And if I get something working that I want to use, I'll have a link to that down below so you can go and see it on a live site and experience it, uh, whether it'll be the guide, the tour or the video, I'm not sure yet, but I'll have a little play. Let me know what you think down below.